little more than five months ago, we introduced you to a great story, CBRE Group. That's CBG for you home gamers, the world's leading purveyor of commercial real estate services. Mainly, CBRE helps real estate investors by providing outsourced leasing, sales, appraisal, development, and property management services, although they also own some properties of their own. I really like this story. It's, it's the way to play real estate without the risk of owning a real estate investment trust, which tend to go lower in an environment where interest rates are rising. Sure enough, since that interview, CBRE stock has rallied nearly 25%. Companies reported two very strong quarters, but I think it's still being underestimated. Witness the excellent results CBRE delivered just two weeks ago. Uh, nine cent earnings beat off a 34 cent basis, higher than expected sales. Yet the stock only rallied about a buck and a half on the news. It's been trading sideways since. Could this have more room to run? Let's check in with Bob Salentic. He's the president and CEO of CBRE Group. Get a better sense of how his company's doing, where it's headed. Mr. Salentic, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Have a seat, Bob. Now, I got to tell you, impressive results, because as you said right from the beginning of your conference call, that even though there's been lower sales market volumes in many parts of the world, you guys have strong organic growth both here and in super strong overseas. How are you doing? Are you taking share? Is it technology, people? What's the story? Well, a little bit of all those things, okay. Jim. We are definitely taking market share around the world. One of the things we're doing is we're connecting our people and the solutions we're offering our clients around the world, which, which our clients increasingly want. They want to be able to have real estate services companies that serve them across products, okay. across geography, and provide them with outcomes they can't get elsewhere. That's what CBRE is doing, and we're doing it in a sector that's better than people believe it is. The commercial real estate sector is stronger than is perceived to be. Well, you've got some places that you talked about that are Greater China, India, Singapore, Germany, Spain, Switzerland, we do, United Kingdom. We don't think of these countries as strong, but they are. Things are going well. We saw good growth in India, good growth in China. Continental Europe, you and I have talked about it yes. a couple times. There's this perception that it's not going well. There it is. Again, we're taking market share because right. of the things we can do. But the real estate business is fundamentally growing. The asset base is growing. Occupiers of real estate are outsourcing to service providers. There's some good things going on in the sector. Now, let's talk about what you do versus others. I've seen a couple of very, very big technology uh, purchases that you're doing. So what, is that a differentiating factor versus other people in your business? So we have scale and a willingness and ability to invest in our platform to support our people that separates us from the rest of the sector. One of the things we're able to invest in because of that scale and because of our willingness to invest is in technology and data. And we're doing that and it's helping us serve our clients. And Jim, and in a sector where historically people said you can't create barriers to entry, right, that's, that's what we're I was creating ask barriers you. to entry. So, in other, you know, because people said, well, brokers go from one place to another. What's the differentiation? So, give me an example of some technology that you offer that the other guy wished they had. Okay, so we have a whole series of applications that we use to support our brokers with data, with market information that allows them to serve our clients in a way that's hard for others to duplicate. What does that mean? Okay. In an industry where talent matters, that means the brokers want to be here rather than be elsewhere. So you own your mobile and the person might have something to show the client right there on the spot? Of course. We have that. We have data that we can provide for them. We have a number of different things that we can do for these clients with technology and data that's very helpful. Okay, so what parts of our country are doing well? Because I, I know that it seems to be case by case. Yeah. I'd say generally real estate's doing well across the U.S. Okay. So you have this situation, very little overbuilding. All right. That's interesting. Right. Good occupancy. Generally, rents are stable or growing up. But here's one of the things that's going on. In cities that we consider second tier, places like Dallas, mm -hmm. Seattle, of course, Seattle's a big tech hub, yeah. Denver, Pittsburgh, Tampa, Florida, we're seeing good things going on there. Capital wants to be there. And of course, these 24-hour cities like the city across the river here right. in New York City are doing quite well. Now, uh, just so our, our viewers know, uh, we're very familiar with Allergan. We have Brent Saunders on this site. That's a, a company that is listed in your uh, in your uh, bro in your your properties that you do stuff for. So, what would you do for Allergan, which made acquisitions, probably have to merge some different operations? You help them do that. Yeah, we help companies do all the things in the real estate arena that they used to do for themselves. Okay. So, manage facilities, do capital improvements handle all their transactions, inventory their state, uh, their space, build buildings for them. We do all those things. So these are, they don't need to have full-time people who are not in the drug business. They're just doing, they're working on, on developing new drugs. They, they can, let you handle this stuff. They can focus on, our, on their strategy. Our strategy is to help them 
do better with their strategy by providing them with better real estate solutions. And they've been able, you've been able to demonstrate that this is just a, a, a better, faster, more efficient, cheaper way for them to, to get the job done. We do it for hundreds of companies around the world. We do it for hospital systems. We do it for government entities. We save them money. We help them operate better. Well, I just think you have a great story. And the compound growth here is it, it's like a super tech stock for people who don't understand it. You can all find very transparent company. That's Bob Salentic, president and CEO of CBRE Group. This is a very undervalued stock. It just doesn't get enough sponsorship. But here I am. I'm sponsored. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.